Hey guys, this is Mr. Bennett back with number 8.3. This is our third section in the Punnett Squares, and today we're being joined by the wonderful Mrs. Martin, um, and she's going to help us learn about Punnett Squares. So, Mrs. Martin, you've been teaching biology for a while. Um, in short, like, what is a Punnett Square? A Punnett Square is, really, I like to think of it as a graphic organizer that shows you the chance, the likelihood, the probability of what offspring you can get. Okay, so um, when we're talking about genetics, we can look at either genotypes or phenotypes, right? Right. So a Punnett square, if I'm hearing you right, lets us predict what genotypes and phenotypes we'll get. Right. Good. It's just a prediction. Right. It's not actual. Yeah, this is pretty simplified, isn't it? Right. Um, so parent genotypes, where do they go if I know where my parents are? So here's our box down here, right? Um, where, I need to start labeling things, so where do those go? Okay, they're going to go on the left and the top. Okay. So when I know what my parent alleles are, I'm going to I'm gonna label on the outside over here? Yes, the outside. So what's on the middle? The middle is going to be your possible offspring. Okay. So let's say we're looking at height as our trait. Um, and we're going to say the dominant one is tall. So tall is dominant. So what's my, how should I abbreviate that? A capital letter. Okay. Always dominant. Right. And so, and they usually do the first letter, right? Correct. So let's do a capital T for the dominant one. Um, and then short, my notes are kind of crazy today, guys. I'm sorry. So short is recessive. And if I can't use a capital T, which would, I mean. It's a lowercase t. So let's do a lowercase like that. So when we see a capital T, that's the tall allele. And the lowercase will be the short allele for the parents. Uh, so we're going to look at, uh, let's do a homozygous cross, a homozygous dominant and a recessive. So if I'm putting parents on the outside, that means my, my homozygous dominant would go like that? Sure. Okay, and then the recessive would be the same over here on the left. So this helps us see where the alleles go, right? Right. So now, what do we do now? Now you just um, follow down and across, filling in your boxes to bring in the two possible alleles okay. that your offspring could have. Okay, so if I drop this first one down, I have a capital T. Yes. And then the, this one comes across. Yes. So we have a lowercase t like that. Sure. Okay. Does this go all the way down? Yes. Right. So I put another capital there. Yes. Okay, and then we do a lowercase. So all of these look like this. Mm -hmm. So each of these, now we were homozygous to start, and what's this called when we have two? Heterozygous. So this is heterozygous. So all of our offspring, all of our children, right? So we've yes. got one, two, three, four. All of these guys are heterozygous. Correct. Because they get one of each allele. Uh, when we have at least one dominant trait, that, that means it's tall, right? Correct. Right. Anytime you have the dominant trait. So this the phenotype of all of these should be tall. All tall. I don't know why I switched to red. I do that sometimes. Okay. Or we could say this is 100% all tall. All four of these should be tall. And we've got to remember, this is pretty simple again, but, you know, the basics. So, okay, so homozygous will give us all tall because they each have a dominant allele. Okay, that's pretty simple. Uh, what if we did here? I'm going to change it up. So we're going to keep our, you know, our T for tall and our lowercase for short. What if I change it? What if I took two of these? So we have T capital lower, capital lower. Do, is it? Do I do it the same? Yes, we still fill in the Punnett square the same. Okay, so we got drop and across, and then we'll drop another one all the way down. So we still have a capital, but now this is mixed with a lower. And if this comes over like that, and then we've got two small ones here. Did I do that right? Yes. So our how, this one looks different. Why? Which one looks different? Well, I'll, I mean, this square looks different than, than this one. I mean, I have two capitals here, and I've got two lowercase. Is that because I changed the parents? Yes, because you changed the possible alleles. Okay. Uh, so I've got three different genotypes now. I've got, let's see, this would be one. So we've got capital T, capital T. Are these the same? Yes, those yeah. two are the same. So even though they're in different places, they do the same thing? 
Right. Yeah, They're so. both heterozygous. Okay, so I've got two heterozygous now, so capital lower. And now I've got this new one here. So I've got lowercase, lowercase. Um, and I can do percentages for these two, right? If I have two out of four, what's that again? If I have two out of four, is going to mm -hmm. be fifty percent. So half of them should be this genotype, and then I've got one out of four, and that's twenty-five, 25%. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the same thing here. So half of them should be the same. Right. Right. That's what this is showing us. Um, Genotypically. Genotypically, right. So phenotypically, how does it change, though, if we're looking at the physical? So when you're looking at the physical, then three of them are going to be the same, and just one will be different. Oh, okay, because we have this dominant. Is that right? Correct. Right, so if, we've, if we have a dominant, that means it's tall. And you said three? Yes. This has one, there's one here, and there's one. Okay, so we would get three of them tall, or that would be 75%. And then this one doesn't have a dominance. That means it's short, right? Right. Okay. I think I get it. And that's 25%. 25%. Okay. So th this is just a guess, though, right? Right. It's just a chance. It's not exact. Okay. Cool. So Punnett squares, I guess if we summarize, they show us a probability. Mm -hmm. And we can... what. There's two things we can look at, right? We've got genotype, which are the alleles, and then the phenotype is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. The actual physical characteristic and what you see. Okay, cool.